Good afternoon. I'm Kim Johnson. And I'm Jason DeRussia. In for Ali. Thanks for joining us. Want to get started with developing news this morning as a star University of Minnesota basketball player faces a sexual assault scandal. Edina native Reggie Lynch has been suspended from athletic competition. He could be completely banned from the campus until at least 2020 for violating the school's sexual misconduct policy. Mary McGuire is following this story. She joins us now from Williams Arena, where Coach Richard Patino just wrapped up a press conference. Mary, what did he have to say? Well, Kim, this press conference was originally scheduled so that Coach Patino would have a chance to talk to the media about the Gophers' big game against IU this weekend, a Big Ten game. Instead, the focus was on one star player and sexual assault allegations. Now, a report by the school's Office of Equal Opportunity and Affirmative Action details that this assault, alleged assault, happened in April of 2016 at Lynch's dorm room at Roy Wilkins Hall. The investigation found Lynch guilty of violating the school's sexual Conduct policy. As a result, Lynch will be suspended from the university on January 9th through at least 2020. He is also banned from the U's campus. A source tells me that two women came forward with accusations regarding Reggie Lynch and his conduct over the past year, but only one woman went through with the university's official investigation process, which began in October. That source also claims that they sat down with the Gophers athletic officials in early 2017 and told them on behalf of the victims about those experiences with Lynch. They say that those Gopher Athletics officials brushed aside the complaints and allowed Lynch to continue playing. We learned that Lynch has been suspended from athletic competition but will still be allowed to participate in practices and is still technically a part of the team. The U's athletic director and the men's basketball coach here defended the university's policies in place and the way that they handled this latest case. We have worked incredibly hard to provide a first-class experience for any student athlete that comes to our program. And since I got here in June of 2016, we've talked very hard about we want to make sure that we are defined by our actions, by having great humility, and by representing this institution in a first class manner. There's policies uh, to handle all these things. And, uh, you know, I support Mark and uh, trust him and, uh, you know, trust that, that all these policies, they're in place for a reason. Now, this is not the first time that Lynch has been accused of sexual misconduct. In 2016, about a month after these accusations that we're talking about now, he was arrested on suspicion of raping a 19-year-old woman. He did not face criminal charges, but was suspended from the team while that incident was investigated. Lynch is a native of Edina, Minnesota, and came to the U from Illinois State University after playing two seasons there. Last season, he was named the Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year. Now, Lynch is allowed to appeal this suspension and the punishment from the university. I did speak with the victim this morning and she tells me that she's not prepared to comment at this time about whether or not she will pursue criminal charges in this case, Kim. All right, Mary McGuire, thank you. And stay with WCCO both online and in our newscasts for continuing coverage of this story.